Perhaps the most important part of learning encaustic painting is the art of fusing. Encaustic wax cools very quickly. As you brush the wax onto whatever substrate you have chosen, probably wood, you will notice that layers of wax stand out from each other. The wax you have brushed on that is cooled, and the hot wax you add on top of it. These layers will remain separate unless you fuse them together. If your layers remain separate, your painting will begin to chip or flake very quickly, even while you're working on it. You don't want this to happen. So after each layer you brush on, you need to use either a heat gun or a blowtorch to essentially melt each layer to the one beneath it. This begins by fusing your first layer of wax to your wood board. As you fuse this first layer, you'll notice bubbles. This happens as the wax soaks into the wood, but with each layer you add, the bubbles will begin to disappear. Adding your second layer is much easier than your first, especially if you're using a haka brush. It will glide on very smoothly and fuse fairly easily as the wax layers merge together. I always start my paintings with at least three layers of wax, all fused together until the surface is smooth. If you fuse deep enough to get a smooth surface of wax, then you'll know all the layers have combined together well. The tricky part comes when you need to fuse, but you want to keep some texture. This is where practice is the key. I will not be able to explain this fully. You will have to do it yourself multiple times to really get the hang of it, but I'm going to try. The thing to look for when you're trying to fuse very gently is a sheen. You'll see it as the wax barely begins to melt, a shininess that appears and disappears as you move your torch or your heat gun. I had an encaustic teacher say that that's all you need when you are fusing, that once you see that sheen, it means the layer is fused. In my experience, however, it's better to do that type of fuse a few separate times. So fuse to get the shine, then move away, then come back a few seconds later and do that a few times to make sure it's fused. If you manage to do it well, you'll keep the texture you love and it will be fused well. Of course, this is really hard to do. It's very easy to keep your torch or gun too long in one place and melt the texture too much. This is where I make most of my mistakes. But the more you practice, the more control you'll gain over your hand and your tools, and the better you'll get. Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments. This is a tricky but essential part of encaustic painting, so I want to know what kind of issues you're having. Thanks for watching. Remember, student channel members get access to new content a month early. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.